Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I had an opportunity to uh, test drive a uh, console model 289RB-2. Uh, it's an industrial console walking feet post bed. A great, great machine. We have a customer that came in that to purchase the sewing machine and wanted us to put it together. So, um, I am going to uh, try it out, give you all the information, what I can and what I have, and see where we go with this. So as you see, this is a belt drive. Obviously it comes with a belt cover, but we just uh, are pretty much doing this uh, video in a rush. Uh, there's uh, gonna be a belt cover right here, the machine, uh, all the industrial sewing machines, all of them, they have a bobbin winder. They all have thread stamp. They all have tables, legs, motor. So if somebody tells you complete set, it means that it comes with everything. So this machine is included with the motor underneath. It's a servo motor, also from console. K-legs, uh, obviously the table. Um, the machine is post-bed, meaning that uh, it's exactly the same as 206RB-5, but you have this post right here. And I'm gonna just take this out and I tell you what I mean by that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bunch of, uh, um, and this, this, and let me see, oh, good, very nice. So it's a post bed. This is a uh, walking foot and it's made for people that want to do patches, heavy stuff that needs to be on top, shoes, um, hats, whatever that has to sit in here. You need something that it has to go in here, whatever it can't be. Now, I've seen a lot of people also made their own bracket here, made their own um, box here, that they use this machine both as a post bed and flat bed. We don't have that. I don't think console offers something like that. Uh, this machine does not have an oil pan. This is uh, only an oil uh, drip pan. Uh, you see the spots that are red here. I'm gonna show you. These are the spots that usually once or twice a day, as often as you use the machine, you put oil in there, also on top. Meaning there is no oil pan. The machine uh, does not have an oil pan. And then, all these places that you see here are the places that you drop oil, right? Uh, now, you see here there is a um, um, gauge. So when you go in this gauge, let's if you could show in there, you put more oil in here than any place, so it will come up, is a small tiny reservoir down there that will show you the oil how much oil it has. It should be above the um, below the lower line and below the upper line, meaning that any any place between these two lines, you have enough oil. And then you have oil back here, oil drop of oil here, oil and oil here. If you see things like this hanging, please do not take them out. You see that, what do you call that piece of, uh, you see this thing? The wick. The wick. Mm -hmm. I've seen people that called in and they say they took the week out. You do not want to take the week out. You want to leave it in there. That's how it is. The whole week helps move the um, um, oil around the machine. Uh, what type of feet? I'm, I'm sure you're going to ask me. This is a walking food. You have um, two feet outside and inside. And this is a singer type they call, singer or console. Also, you have a Juki 1508, if you have a Juki 1541, if you have a GC, Newtech GC 8B, these are the same type. Flat inside, you see this is the flat part inside, and round post outside. I mean, uh, in, round post inside, outside is flat, like this. And we have many, many type of the, uh, feet for this machine. Calling feet, zipper feet, uh, many, many, many types. So this is the outside and this is the inside. And we have variety. Like this one is the one that is flat, no teeth. For people that want to do leather like this, 
Sometimes they say the feet makes mark on the leather. There are the flat one like this here. We have many, many, many feet uh, online for this type of machine. Beside, beside uh, the needle being 135 by 17, the needle is 135X17. And what comes with is about 2122, size 2122. So the bobbins are the super extra big ones. They're not M bobbin. 15041, see how big it is? 15041, this is what it comes with it. You get bunch of uh, bobbins inside, a screwdriver, Steam Reaper, not a Steam Reaper, what do you call this? A um, tweezer. And some accessories, some screws and some stuff that comes with it. Other than that, the needle is 135 by 17, and the bobbin is 15041. I am going to, this measure seven inch, and I'm gonna get you my if you give me your show around the machine, I'm going to give my tape measure because that's what I forgot to bring in. So, here we go. Just to show the whole entire bed of the sewing machine, and somebody's calling me on the other line. Here you go. 47 inch right here by 22 inch right here the whole panel of the machine from one end to the other end is about 20 inch from one end to the other end is 20 inch and then one from the other side from here to here is seven inch the post of the machine right here should be about seven inch if i'm right it is seven inch the uh, height between the bottom to the top is 10 inch from the needle to the end is 10 inch. Uh, again, big, big, big bobbin. You don't have a bobbin case. Drop bobbin. You just drop your bobbin and See this one, you drop your bobbin in there and close it, okay? There is no cap, no, no nothing like that. This is a um, bobbin case. See, you have a little bit of oil sometimes you could put in. You see, any place that you see stuff like this, you will have something going. Oil in here, oil in here. These two are, if the machine gets locked down, you could just press this thing and move the wheel and it will help you release the, um, um, the gears. Threading, this is a, I'm working on a T70 thread. You have two thread stands, two, two spool thread stand. One for the sewing machine, the other one for the bobbin winder. We have many, many videos on how to bobbin wind. Lindsay, if you wanna show them the way then the threading works, in, out, and could in, out, in, out, and it goes right to the left, coming down to the right, and this is around the tension. See that holding the tension, you see that? If I pull this, you see, this is the tension. Mm -hmm. You see? When you pulling the thread, you should see this, right? And then above to the fork, coming down, through here, you have a pad right here. You could put some silicone oil in there. A drop or two of silicone oil or drift has sewing aid. A drop or two of sewing aid. Down to the left and from left to the right of the needle. Let me pull that up. That's it. The machine comes with knee lifter right here, obviously. And you have one knee lifter back here. And you wanna know how much this thing raises. Um, I would say easy half an inch. Now, 
This is by Nilifta. If you want to go by foot, usually it's more, but let me see. Uh, I would think a little bit more. One is more by feet. Uh, so when we say walking foot, what do we mean by walking foot? In this case, if you close up, you see, when I turn, you're gonna have both inside feet and needle feet, you see? The feet, the inside feet is moving. So is the needle. Meaning the needle comes down and moves with the feed dog. So the feed dog, the needle, and the inside feet are moving together. That's it. So I have a, I think a heavy leather that I'm gonna try showing. This is by the way, a uh, reverse, right? Reverse stitching. See, if you had something that was, was really heavy leather and it was sitting here like a boot or like a hat or a cowboy hat, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And it's like sit here and you have to sew it. This is what it does, you see? It's very easy to sew for heavy stuff. No problem. Again. Let me do a, um, I'm gonna fold this. This way, and we're gonna give it a try, right? We're gonna take this to, by the way, the motor is 550 watts. So this is one thing that happened. It happened usually with all the console machines. If the thread is not, uh, I have to make sure that the thread is loose enough because when you use a, see? Now, one more thing that you wanna know. When you wanna pull the thread, you could just go ahead and press the knee lift. When you do that, it releases the tension right here and then you could pull the thread out. So uh, if you remember, we had a couple of problems like this with other type of console. Not because of console, because of this thread. This is a T70. If you really wanna go heavy stuff, you have to have like T105 thread. It has nothing to do with the uh, sewing machine. Like we did this one. See, I'm gonna do No problem at all. Going. Even you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna sew this one on top of this one just to. Hello. Here we go. Look at that, all of these things I did on the heavy duty ones. No problem sewing. A uh, great, great sewing machine by Conso. I know you're gonna, when I finish this, I forgot so many things to say about this machine, but overall a great sewing machine. A post bed walking foot machine, just to show you what are the different post beds. As we are right here, it happened to be right next to each other. So it's a Conso post bed walking foot. This is a new tech post bed wig. If you look at the feet, it's a regular fit on this one. Post bed, new tech, wig sewing machine. It's for the wig to sit here. I'm sure you've seen that. And then if you go back there, the other one is a post bed, new tech, roller fit. No walking fit, roller fit. But the one that we just did console is large capacity bobbins for heavy, extra heavy duty sewing. It's a poster. This is roller. This is weak sewing machine. Excuse all the mess. We have a lot of people that come here every day and try our sewing machines. This is a wig. And this one right here 
is the post bed sewing machine walking foot from Consol. Again, uh, 289RB-2. Uh, we try to keep lots of Consol and Juki and obviously new tech. Uh, product in stock, another great sewing machine. It comes with everything you see right here. You have an option of uh, assemble, non-assemble. Again, great machine. I love uh, the way it works, heavy duty. Works very well with 138 thread, two, uh, th 138 thread, 207 thread. Uh, let me know what video you want me to do. Uh, thumbs up, like, share the videos, and have a golden day. Thank you for watching.